and welcome back to Next Gen Diecast. We are here for the 2021 Next Gen Piston Cup in continuation of round one. Today we'll have groups three and four. Let's go ahead and introduce the drivers for group three. First up, driving for Wreckage Bluff Raceway, we have number 33, Ed Trunken. And next we have, driving for Miniature Car Racing, number 36, Rich Mixon. Next up, driving for G4 Diecast Racing, number 52, George Newen. And then last but not least, driving for Crime Syndicate Racing, number 68, H.J. Hollis. The drivers are ready to get started. Heat one, we've got Mixon and Hollis in row one. Newen and Trunken in row two, and we're racing. And they're side by side through turn one for the lead. Mixon spins. Hollis drives around him on the outside. Here comes H.J. Hollis to the line to take the win of the first heat. Rich Mixon second, George Newen third, and then Ed Trunken in fourth. It was a great battle through turn one and then contact between the 68 and 36. I believe Hollis spun Rich Mixon. And then Mixon got a little help from Newen, gets pointed back in the right direction. And Hollis comes through to take the first heat of group three. So here are your point standings after the first heat. H.J. Hollis, five points. Rich Mixon picks up three points. George Newen down in third with two points. And then Ed Trunken with one point. Heat number two for group three. Hollis and Trunken in row one. Mixon, Newen, row two. Heat two is underway. Hollis is going to take the lead going into one. He's sideways. Big collision into the wall. He's still going, though. H.J. Hollis is holding on to the lead in reverse. Can he still win the race? Yes, H.J. Hollis, after a huge crash at the exit of turn one. Let's see what happens. He's sideways. Contact with the wall. He goes flying through the air, completely airborne. He's able to land the car in reverse, keep it going all the way down the track, and take the win. Unbelievable. What a job done by H.J. Hollis there. Let's watch it again. He was completely airborne, full rotation in midair. Watch this. I mean, he's a few feet off the ground right there. H.J. Hollis putting on a show, able to come away with a big win after that crash. So two races, two wins for H.J. Hollis. He's sitting up top with 10 points, six points ahead of Mixon, Newen, and Trunken as they are all tied at four points apiece. So we are ready to go for heat three. Trunken, Newen, row one. Hollis and Mixon in row two. Great start for Trunken. He's going to lead through turn one. Here comes Hollis. He dive bombs into turn two and takes the lead. H.J. Hollis has done it again. Trunken finishes second. George Newen in third. And Mixon with a DNF, he's stuck up in turn two. But watch this move going into turn two from H.J. Hollis. He saw the door open, and he takes advantage of it, forcing his way through for his third straight win. And with that win, H.J. Hollis has clinched a spot in round two. H.J. Hollis with 15 points, an eight-point lead over Ed Trunken, George Newen with six points, and then Rich Mixon in fourth with four points. We've got one more heat to go in group three. Newen Mixon row one, Trunken Hollis row two. Can Hollis sweep group three? Good start for both Newen and Mixon. Here they come into turn one. Newen's going to lead. Mixon spins. Hollis goes into second. Here's the battle for the lead coming through turn two. George Newen leading as they head to the line. It's going to be Newen over Hollis. Mixon finishes third and then Ed Trunken. So H.J. Hollis unable to sweep group three. But what a race, Hollis around Mixon and then puts up a fight for the lead, but Newen elbows out and he's able to hold on and take the win in the final heat of group three. H.J. Hollis, your winner of group three. He finishes with three wins and 18 points, seven points ahead of George Newen. Ed Trunken finishes in third with eight points and then Rich Mixon down in fourth with six points. So great run for H.J. Hollis in Crime Syndicate Racing. Let's go back and look at that wild ride that H.J. Hollis went on. What a crazy race that was. Definitely one of the most entertaining races that we've seen so far this season. And now let's introduce the drivers for Group 4. First up, driving for Wreckage Bluff Raceway, we've got number 15, Harvey Rodcap. 
and driving for Dom's Tuner Shop. We've got number 39, Michael Roeder. And next up, driving for G4 Diecast Racing, number 48, Aaron Clocker. And then last up, driving for Crime Syndicate Racing, number 76, Will Rush. The drivers of Group 4 are ready to go for their first heat. Rush, Rotor, row one. Clocker, Rod Cap, row two. Rush with a great start. He's going to lead through turn one. Michael Rotor trying to make a move for the lead going into turn two. And Will Rush is going to come to the line first and take the first heat. Rotor second, Rod Cap third, Aaron Clocker fourth. It was a great battle for the lead going into turn two. Rush able to make that car as wide as possible and hold on for the win over Rotor. So here are your standings for Group 4 after Heat 1. Will Rush at top of the leaderboard with 5 points. Michael Roeder 3 points. Harvey Rodcap with 2 points. And Aaron Clocker with 1. Group 4, Heat 2. They're ready to go. Roeder, Rodcap, Row 1. Will Rush, Aaron Clocker, Row 2. Good battle going into Turn 1. Roeder's going to lead the way. But they're crashing behind him. We've got all kinds of trouble going through Turn 2. Roeder's going to come to the line first. Big crash behind him. Rodcap's going to come to the line in second. And then with a very slow 16-second lap, Will Rush finishes third. And I believe Aaron Clocker, he is over on the infield grass of turn two, a DNF for Clocker. All kinds of trouble in turn two. So Rodcap enters sideways. And then he looks like he gets spun around on top of Will Rush's car. What a ride that Rodcap goes on. As he goes up on top of the 76, he spins all the way around, and then he keeps it going in reverse. He still picks up a second place finish in three points, but he's gotta be a little dizzy after that ride. And so your standings after two heats. Michael Roeder now into the lead with eight points. Will Rush down to second with seven points. Harvey Rodcap in third with five points, and that DNF for Aaron Clocker, that hurts, as he's still down at the bottom with just one point. Heat number three, Rod Cap, Clocker, row one. Rotor, Rush, row two. Rod Cap gets off to a great start. He's going to lead through turn one. Rotor coming up beside him. Rotor makes the pass going into two. Michael Rotor takes the win. Clocker second, and then a photo finish at the line between Rod Cap and Rush. We'll have to go back and watch the replay. Rod Cap gets off to a great start. Beautiful line through turn one. He gets sideways, maybe a little help from Rotor. Rotor with a nice overtake going through two, and then Rodcap spins, hits the wall pretty hard, and I think he just edges out the 76 at the line. Let's watch it one more time. Big spin, contact between Rodcap and Rush, and then Rodcap does just barely edge out Rush for third place. With that track time, Michael Rotor. Puts down a new fast time, 8.416, just the fourth driver so far this season to put down an eight-second track time. And here are the standings for group four after three heats. Michael Roeder sitting up top with 13 points. Will Rush in second with eight. Harvey Rodcap third with seven. And then Aaron Clocker in fourth with four points. One more heat to go for this group. Clocker Rush row one, Rodcap Roeder row two. It's a good start in the outside lane for Rush, but Clocker, he's going to lead through turn one. Trouble behind Clocker. Clocker also spins going into turn two. Here they come to the line. Clocker just ahead of Rodcap. Rush finishes third, Rotor fourth. Very interesting race. A lot of trouble going on down through the middle straight. Contact between Rodcap and Rush, and then Clocker actually spins out as well going into turn two. And they're all single file as they exit two. And then Clocker in reverse, just beating out Rodcap at the line. So a very valuable five points for Aaron Clocker there in the final heat. Michael Roeder, your winner of Group 4. He'll be advancing on to Round 2. Will Rush and Harvey Rodcap tie for second with 10 points apiece. And then Clocker finishes in fourth with nine points. Here's the overall driver standings for Round 1. H.J. Hollis, Eric Breaker, Michael Roeder, and Noah Gocek your top four, and those are your four drivers that have advanced on to round two. Paul Conrad, Conrad Camber, George Newen, and Jackson Storm will round out the top eight. 
Something to pay close attention to is the asterisk and number right beside the driver name, as that is the total number of heat wins for each driver, and that will be the first tiebreaker in case of any tie in points between any drivers this season. We have 16 more drivers left to compete in round one, starting next week with groups five and six. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time.